protesters surround a local congressman's office as the battle over health care reform takes another turn. Now, one more Ohio representative changes his vote. Today, Democrats are one vote closer to passing health care reform. Ohio Congressman John Bocheri goes from no to yes, saying today he's backing the president's health care reform bill. The time for reform is right now. Not a year from now, not five years from now, not 10 years from now, not 20 years from now, it's now. And today, President Obama made a last-minute push to the public with a rally at George Mason University in suburban Virginia. Tomorrow, the president is bringing Democratic lawmakers to the White House on the eve of a crucial vote on his health care overhaul. And it is a tight vote with 200 against the bill, 198 for it, and 33 undecided at this moment. On your side, Chief Investigator Dwayne Pullman is live outside Congressman Dennis Kucinich's Lakewood office where protesters are gathering. Dwayne? And for the record, this is day two of protests outside of Congressman Dennis Kucinich's Lakewood office. This one organized by the conservative Tea Party movement. No question that the noise is getting louder as the prospect of passing a health care bill grows more likely. Yes, I will be voting yes for the bill. Congressman John Bocheri surrounded himself with people from Northeast Ohio who have been financially devastated after being denied health care insurance. They, the congressman says, are why he's voting for the health care bill. In a nation as wealthy as ours, where we can spend a trillion dollars on war, certainly we can find the resources to reform a system that is causing people to suffer so greatly. Bucheri is the latest in a growing list of congressmen and women now announcing. After joining President Barack Obama on Air Force One on Monday, I've decided to cast a vote in favor of the legislation. Congressman Dennis Kucinich, who had heavily criticized the bill, on Wednesday announced he was switching his vote to yes. The switch continues to draw loud protests outside his congressional office, while inside, the phones are ringing off the hook. And he switched its position after going on Air Force One. Crazy way that they're they're pulling up all these reasons for how they're going to pass it through. They're just ramming it. The demonstration here will last until six o'clock tonight. We should note that there are many support Congressman Kucinich's decision to vote for the bill, but there are many, many others who don't. Live in Lakewood, get it, Dwayne Pullman, News Channel 5. Tensions building on all sides of the issue. Dwayne, thanks very much. We feel very strongly that health care does need to be reformed, but this is not the way to do it. There are so many other ways to do this that would be so much less expensive and so much better for America. People are protesting right now outside Bocieri's Canton office, a mostly quiet gathering, saying they know Bocieri changed his vote, but they're hoping he changes his mind again. And about 30 people gathered outside Betty Sutton's Akron office about noon today to voice opposition to the health care reform bill. Sutton has not said officially how she will vote. So for now, at least four Democrats in the House of Representatives have switched their votes from no to yes. But Republicans are not giving up the fight. The GOP says it may not be able to stop this bill from passing, but the American public, the actual voters, can still play a role. Now, listen, I know the president's doing the hard sell uh, on this bill, uh, telling uh, Democrat members that his presidency is on the line. But this vote isn't about saving a presidency or saving a politician. Uh, this is about doing the right thing for the American people.